What's up, YouTube? Um, Georgia's just up here saying hi. Um, I've been thinking about doing a video like this for a while, um, talking about uh, what it was like going to college in southeast Arkansas. Um, well, it's, to say the least, it's probably not your typical college experience. Uh, hey, George. Um, again, southeast Arkansas, and if you're familiar with Arkansas at all, which you probably may not be, George, Georgie, <laughs> oh gosh. trying to make a video, George. Anyway, stop it. Uh, one thing, this tell you a few things about the school. Um, the town that was in Monticello is uh, very isolated, um, to say the least. The town's population in itself is about 9,000, and then the school has a student body of about somewhere between three and 4,000, I believe. Anyway, it also is, has a, one of the few colleges in the area that has uh, an ag program. Um, so the school actually has a pa has pastures and herds of cattle that they own. And one of these pastures happened to be right next to the uh, science building where I, ha I, for obvious reasons, have most of my classes. And so there'd be days where I'd be walking to class and I'd hear cows mooing. Not, I don't think many college students could say that about their college experience. Also, if the wind uh, happened to not be blowing correctly, you'd also you'd sometimes get a very nasty uh, smell. Also, a fun thing that would happen would be uh, sometimes if a teacher would be lecturing and he would pause, every once in a while we'd hear a moo sound. George, <laughs> stop it. Anyway, um, so yeah, cows. Um, there's also this one, we also have a rodeo team on campus. Um, and there's one time, I remember I was walking back from the science center to, to my dorm and I happened to see just a, a fully saddled horse just standing there by itself with no rider in sight. So, Wherever this thing came from, it must have wandered all the way from the back side of campus where the rodeo stables are. And this thing was just standing there. So that was different. Um, see, another thing. So it's, uh, hunting is extremely popular in Arkansas, and especially once you get outside the little, greater Little Rock area. So when hunting season came around, be it ducks or deer, uh, you'd have people coming to school in their hunting gear because either they had been out hunting before class or were going hunting after class. Oh, and lots of pickup trucks, as you might expect. Uh, so yeah, college in a hick town. Lots of rednecks, lots of good old boys. George, you're making this very difficult. Anyway, See, what else can I tell you that you might find amusing? Well, our, oh yeah, our mascot was the Bull Weevil. It's a, um, it, it's a, basically, it's a cotton pest. And it's kind of hard to imagine how a bug could be, uh, uh, intimidating, but I guess when you think to a bunch of farmers something that can call millions of dollars of crop damage, that can be kind of scary. So anyway, the, we were the bull weevils. Our colors were green and white. Uh, fortunately, they stopped doing this one annoying cheer, which was like, bull weevils, bull weevils, bull weevils. <laughs> That's the cheer. That's the bull weevil cheer. That's how you call the bull weevils. U of A Fayetteville has the hog call. We had the weevil call. Um, let's see. Uh, oh yeah, and the the feet. Here's I don't know if this was intentional, probably was, but our female sports teams were called the Cotton Blossoms. Eh, eh. Get it? Get it? Uh, 
cotton blossom. Boll weevils eat cotton blossoms. See? <laughs> but it's also a very right wing part of town. So we had sororities and fraternities, but they weren't allowed to uh, have in houses on site. So they would often commandeer our common areas in our dorms for activities. That was fun. That really got on my nerves. Ah, uh, so very isolated. To get there, half the trip from Little Rock to Pine Bluff was by freeway. Then, air, uh, then the rest of the way it was two lane highway. So, just to give you an idea of just how out there that was. That was a. They spent a lot of hours driving. Um, any other fun stories I could tell? Um. I guess right now that's it. Um, if I come up with any more, I might make a part two. So, I bet this isn't quite your average college experience. Uh, so, let me think, know what you think about it. Like I said, if I come up with any more stories, I'll share them with you. So, bye for now.